Okay, my dears. Today we are going to talk about models of speculation. This name can be like a bit weird for you, I know, but um, we have seen in class model verbs. Do you remember that we have seen some model verbs? Yes or no? What do you remember of modal verbs? Who can tell me, for example, one modal verb? Like one tell is, me. Uh, have to or must be or... Okay, have to, must... What else? Give me more, more modal verbs. Tell me more. Uh, should, uh, should, should, might, what else? Can. Can. What else? Tell me. Will teacher. Can you please repeat, baby? Juan Pablo. Okay. So, yes, we have multiple modal verbs in English. Don't forget that modal verbs are going are, are verbs that gives like an intention to your sentence. So that, that provides ability, possibilities, uh, advices, all of those things. So for example, you have, uh, you, should, you have should, might, must, may, can, could, well, multiple modal verbs. Today we are going to talk about one specific category of modal verbs that is going to be really, really useful for you in your life. The name, as I was telling you, is Models of Speculation. What is a speculation? What is to speculate something? What is that? What do you imagine with that, with that word? A speculate, a speculation. What is that? No, no, Who can tell me? That is a <laughs> Okay, first Juliana and then Isa. Juliana, tell me. That is about a uh, hypothetical situation. Okay, it can be related with hypothetical situations. Isa, what did you say? Teacher, what was the question? What do you imagine if I say a speculate, a speculation? What is that? We are going to talk about models of speculation. So what is a speculator or a speculation? What is that? Like speculate, like imagine uh, something that you aren't uh, sure of something. Okay, to imagine something. And that's basically what we are going to be talking about today, to speculate. When you are talking about these kind of situations in English, you have models of speculation to help you. So I am going to share with you my screen in order to make it easier. Don't forget, babies, to take notes. Don't forget to let me know if you have questions. And here we go. Give me one second. Okay. So, modal verbs of speculation. Let's go with Vale Venegas. Can you please help me reading this first part? Yes, teacher. Uh, modal verbs of speculation. Modal verbs can also be used to refer to speculation about actions the speaker may not be certain of or to draw conclusion based on a ends. Whenever we use a modal verb to speculate, we may be okay? we may be deducing mm -hmm. about present, past or future situations, expressing a concrete concrete le level of creating or possibilities when doing so. Thank you. So, as we were saying, babies, we use it to talk about action or actions that we can't be sure about. We don't, we don't have the certain of that action. We are not sure uh, of, of the things that are happening or that are going to happen or that happened or the conclusions. We don't have enough evidence to prove something. So in that way, we are going to use models of speculation. We can use it, babies, uh, in present to, the, to speculate or to deduce things about the present, the past, or future situations. You can use it to express like, um, I mean, to say that you, I mean, do you have like a something 
that is going to let you know that that is like maybe true, but you can be a hundred percent sure. Okay. So that's where uh, when when we are going to use models of speculation. So. In this group of modal verbs, we are going to have not all the modal verbs of the of the art, but just uh, five modal verbs. Yeah. So please keep it in mind. The models of speculation are must, may, might, could, and can't. Okay. Just in that way. Okay. So what is the meaning of must? What happens if I say, you must go to the doctor? What is that? Yes, it's like to give a, a suggestion, but this is like not something to say that you should do it como deberías, but debes hacerlo. It's like an order. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It must be true. Debe ser verdad. It must be true. It must be my mother. Debió ser mi mamá. Yeah, it's something like that. Debió ser. Debe. What about may? I may do it. Podría. Like podría. I may do it. Maybe if later I am not too tired, I may do it. I may go to the restroom. I may go to whatever. So it's a possibility. What about might? What is the difference between may and might? Uh, one is more, one is more, more formal than the another one. Then the other one, very good. So might and may are similar. The meaning is so similar. But might, it's a bit formal. So you can say I might do it or I may do it. It's similar. What about what about could? What is the meaning of could? I could do it, but I don't want to. What is that? Podría hacerlo. Yes. This is not like may and might. That is like saying yes, yes. I may do it, yo puedo hacerlo, it's like synonyms you can. In the case of could, it's more like, eh, I, will, I, can, I could do it, but... You have like a but, I could do it. Como podría hacerlo, but it is not as sure as me, yeah? And finally, can't, I can do it, I can definitely do it. Or, uh, he can't do it. No podría. Like, no puede. No, no podría, no, sino no puede, no pudo, no, I, it's impossible, okay, can't. So, let's continue. Don't forget these five models because that's the group of models of speculation. Questions up to this point, babies? Okay, let's continue then. No, debería. Could is like, uh, yo podría, but must is debe hacerlo. It's like almost an order. Or for example, if I say, it must be true. It's como, debe ser verdad. I'm not sure, but it must be true. I'm almost sure. It's must, deber, could, poder. Okay? Any other question, babies? Let's continue then. Well, babies, uh, actually, we can raise the use of modal verbs uh, from more to less certain, like from 100% till like 2% sure. So we are going to talk about these models of speculation and we are going to uh, arrange it, arrange them in order to, to know when to use each one. Let's begin. Nata, can you please help me reading this part? <laughs> Nata. Yes. 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 Uh, when you're an speaker feel that thing that something is true or was true in the past. Example, he must live there. How do you say that? Fallen tree. Fallen tree across that the street. The wind must have blown. In the, in the okay, mm -hmm. so when are you going to use must? Must is going to be used when you feel like, when you feel certain about something, when you feel like something is true or was true in the past, okay? Mm -hmm. That's when you are going to use must, when you are like 99% sure of something, you are just missing the 1%. 
So, here we have two examples. He must live here. That's his car outside. Él debe vivir aquí porque su carro está afuera. You are not 100% sure about it, but there is a 95% of possibilities that it's true. Okay? That's in present. But what happened with this one? Look at that fallen tree across the street. The wind must have blown it down. El viento debió haberlo botado, haberlo derribado. Okay? So you are not sure if that fallen tree across the street is there because of the because of uh, the reason of the wind, but you are like 95% sure. Tienes casi la seguridad de que fue el viento el que te derribó el árbol. Okay? In that case, when you are like almost sure that something happened, that something is true or was true in the present or in the past, you are going to use must. Questions about the use of must? Let's continue then. Okay, Santi, can you please help me reading this one? Yes, teacher. Can you read the circle? Yes, please. Okay, can a certainty impossibility? We use can uh, when we are sure, certain that something it was not uh, true or impossible. We cannot use most for this kind of speculation. Examples. She just lost her job. Um, she can't leave much money. Uh, her sister uh, died last month. She can't be feeling very happy. They said uh, they were arriving at 7.15. They can't have got to the first train. That's it. Thank you. So, babies, you are going to use can't to talk about impossibilities. When you are almost sure, I mean, when you're almost sure that something wasn't true or something is not true or maybe that something is impossible, yeah? When you are talking about modal verbs, you can use mustn't, but you are going to avoid that use in this, in this, in this moment. No van a usar el must en forma negativa acá, ¿listo? Solamente el can't. So, I am going to give you some examples. She's just lost her, lost her job. She can't have much money. Sí, aquí están diciendo, no están diciendo como ella, algo así como ella no puede tener mucho dinero, sino es más como ella no debe tener mucho dinero. Yo creo que como perdí el trabajo, ahorita está sin mucho dinero. But you don't really know, okay? Uh, can someone please tell me what happened in the chat? I am not checking the chat, babies. I have a question, Fisher. Tell me. We only use the negative only with can in these kind of models. Yes? yes, just can't. No more than that. Okay? Uh, but, I mean, maybe you can use it with something else, but never, never, never with must. Nunca me lo vas a usar con must en este tipo de, de en este grupito de modal verbs, okay? Uh, any other okay. question, guys? Okay, let's continue then with the examples. We have another example. Her sister died last month. She can't be feeling very happy. Yeah, so you are assuming that something... Uh, I mean, like, like, ella no se debe estar sintiendo bien. Esa es como la forma negativa para asumir y para suponer cosas. Yeah? So, to speculate about it. We have another one. They say that... Uh, they say they were arriving at 7.50. They can't have got the first train. Yeah? So that's basically when you are going to use can't. When you are sure that something is uh, is not true or it's, it's impossible. Something that is not possible in that moment. Okay? She can't be feeling good. She can't have much money. Why? Because you have a situation in the background. If you realize all of these parts has like a like a cause, and the consequence is used with the modal verb. Questions about the use of can't? Let's continue then. Okay, Camilo, can you please help me reading this circle? Mm -hmm. 
Kami, are you there, baby? Okay, so we are going to do it with... Give me one moment, please. Value Rego, go ahead. Vale, are you there, princess? Yes, yes, yes. Teacher, I don't know what internet. I read this. Yes, please. Please help me reading this circle. Go ahead. Make my call possible. The these modal verbs are used to indicate that something is possible the present or in the future. We use the negative forms of may, may not, or might, might not, to talk about possibilities, but no called examples. Um, it might, might call a rain later this afternoon. The sky, the sky. The sky is sky dark. Uh, she says she didn't break the vase, vase but she could be lying. Uh, I'm a... lying. 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 I may not might to see you tomorrow. I won't probably, probably have any spare time. The police call have how the the guard when he was le leaving the house. Thank you very much. So, babies, what is the meaning of burglar? I told you once. What is the meaning of burglar? Is synonym of what? If you are talking about police and that the burglar was leaving the house but he was caught, what is the meaning of burglar? Like ladron? Ladron, like a thief. Okay, so babies, here if you realize, uh, we are going to talk about possibilities also, possibilities, speculation, but with may, might, and could. So babies, these modal verbs, are go you are going to use these modal verbs to indicate that something is possible in the present or in the future. If you realize this is not like, like something, you don't have like a past form here. It is not like the first one that is like must, that it includes like the past, but in this case it is just to talk about something that is possible in present or in the future. And you can use the negative forms or may and might to talk about that possibility, but not the negative form of could. Entonces, hay dos formas negativas que no van a usar nunca, nunca. ¿Cuáles son? ¿La de qué y la de qué? Must and, must and could. Never. You are never going to use mustn't and couldn't in this kind of in this kind of verbs. The other ones you can use it with the with the negative. So we are going to check these examples. Let's say it may rain later this afternoon. The sky is quite dark. In this case, you have like an evidence of something that is telling you that it's possible to have rain. But you can't be sure about it. Also, she says she didn't break the vase, but she could be lying. Pero puede estar mintiendo. ¿Qué pasa si utilizas acá la forma negativa? Estás diciendo como, pero, pero no podría estar mintiendo. So it's like contradictory, yeah? So she says she didn't do it, but it could be a lie. The next one. I might not see you tomorrow. I may not see you tomorrow. I won't probably have any spare time. It is not sure. It's just a possibility. Tal vez no pueda verte mañana porque no tengo tiempo libre. But you never know. Yeah, it's just a possibility. In present or in future. In this case, it's in future because you have tomorrow. And finally, the police could have caught the burglar when he was leaving the house. It was possible to do it, but... Uh, but uh, now it is not happening anymore, okay? Questions about this, this part of the modal verbs of speculation, guys? No questions at all? Are you sure? Let's continue then. Sure? Tell me. Can you put the slide of must and can, please? 
This one? Yes. Okay. Anyway, don't forget that you will have the recording of the class in the YouTube channel, just in case. Okay, can you put the next slide? The next one, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Questions, babies? Or no? Okay, let's continue then. So, babies, we are going to talk about present situations. How are you going to use these modal verbs in present situations? You have two, two things that you can use. You can use the modal verb plus infinitive, or if you are going to use the modal verb with a gerund, you have to include B. Don't forget that a gerund is with ING. For that reason, it is going to be with the verb to be. Yeah. So, an infinitive is just a normal verb. So, we are going to check these two examples. That man in the garden must be our new neighbor. It's a possibility. In this case, is the use of an infinitive. Now, let's check it with a gerund. She must be watching TV since it's on. Okay? No me pueden poner un gerundio si no me ponen el vi antes. She must be, she could be, he may be. Yeah? He may be watching, playing, sleeping, ing, whatever. But if you are just using an infinitive, you don't have to include it. So, uh, it must have, is, it must play, it must, whatever, yeah? Lo pueden hacer así, pero si están usando en un gerundio, siempre ponen B. Questions about this part, this short explanation? Okay, let's continue on that. So, babies, this is basically what I just uh, talked to you about. These are some examples. So, you can say ab about speculations about the present. You can say, it must be true, it may or might be true, here it can or couldn't. No, couldn't, no. Porque este es de, de presente. It must be true, it may not be true. Pero esta, estas no las tengan tan en cuenta. Okay, let's check the past situations. How are you going to use these modal verbs to talk about past situations. You have two ways to do it. The first one is with the modal verb plus perfect in infinitive. Don't forget that this is like present perfect. So you have to use have plus the verb in participle. Or if you are going to use a gerund, you just have to use the modal verb plus have been, esto no va a cambiar este have been plus the gerund. So we are going to check the two examples, Gabi. Can you please help me reading these two examples, Princess? Yes, teacher. The Go man ahead. on TV must have been one of the arrest bank rovers or rovers. No sé cómo se Okay, rovers. The next one. They say they didn't know the man was dangerous. They must have been clean, lying because he had already appeared in the newspapers. Okay, thank you, baby. So, as you can see, you have two options. That man on TV must have been one of the arrested bank robbers. This is a speculation in past with present perfect. It's when I say must, el, el, uh, the modal verb, and then the part of the... Of the Main verb in present perfect. So, must have been, mm -hmm. must have had, must have seen, yeah, it's up to you. But you have also another way to speculate about the past. Uh, that is this one. They must have been lying. Ellos debieron haber estado mintiendo. Yeah? So, you have these two options to talk about or to speculate of past situations. Questions about this part? Okay, let's continue. Not this one. And finally, let's talk about the speculation in future. How are you going to do it? If you realize, aquí, digamos que cuando usas un modal verb normalito, puedes usar should or ought to to give like advices, para dar como consejos. But, as I told you, we just have in the group of uh, speculation, make, might, or could. 
Entonces, es exactamente el mismo uso que le puedes dar a cualquier modal verb, como should or ought to, pero teniendo en cuenta solamente los que están en este grupo. So, you can say, uh, may is quite possible. Might is like a slightly more remote possibility, so similar, but this is more formal than this one. And could is quite possible, but there is usually a condition. I could do it, but if you do this, okay? So you can say, I may work late tonight, I might find the time to learn French one day, or I could finish the work quicker, if I had sought some help. Si ven, entonces simplemente utilizan el modal verb con, la, con un verbo común y corriente, no le cambian absolutamente nada. En el caso de may, de may, de could. Questions about the use of these three in future situations? Do you speculate of future situations, guys? Okay. So, this is another example. Thank you very much for your attention, babies. I guess that you don't have more questions. However, I am going to let the recording of the class in the YouTube channel, guys. We are going to have time to practice with this. Of course, we are going to have time. Just keep in mind, if, I mean, just let me know if you have questions. And I see you in the next class. That's all for today. Bye-bye, everyone.